This guy sometimes messes up, but oh my, what? What's up guys, it's Sheba. Don't forget to subscribe. What's up YouTube fam and welcome to another episode of She Shaves Herself. That's right, today I'm going to be answering all of your burning questions which you have sent in to me on my social media accounts. So settle back, get a drink and let's get shaven. Okay guys, today we're going to be going in for a smooth shave using my trusty Gillette razor here. Fresh blade so we are ready to do this. Now it's been cut down to a one, a very close, tight one. So we're ready to get moving. So today I'm gonna to be answering all the questions which you have sent in to me over the weekend. And let me tell you, there were some incredibly hysterical questions. Some are not quite G-rated and welcome for this YouTube channel but I'm gonna be answering as many as I can today. So I have a list here in front of me. I have collated everything on my laptop and I'm gonna see if I can get through 20 of your questions. Many of them sort of doubled up. So let's see what we've got. Okay, so the number one burning question, I kid you not, we had it so many times get sent through and it was, when will Satori go bald? I'm gonna say it one more time. When will Satori go bald? Y'all, I know. The world is gonna stop. The bald brigade is gonna halt if this ever happens. But I can tell you right now, you're gonna be holding your breath for a very long time. She is not going bald yet, even though she would look incredible. Um, she has lots of shoots and fun things coming up, which she needs a different look for, but you all saw the filter that um, she put on a while ago on the Sheba and Satori Instagram, and that was so funny, and she looked bomb, like she could literally do any style. So there's the answer to that. Uh, you're, you're actually going to die if you hold your breath waiting. So let's move on from that one. Um, next question, which is pretty funny, what shampoo do you use? People. I have no hair, so I don't really need much shampoo. But that being said, the scalp does need a lot of care. So it needs to, well, I don't know if you know this, but I cleanse my scalp. So if it's like a smooth shave, do you like it with my, with all my <laughs> shaving gel here? Um, I cleanse my scalp uh, after I've done a smooth shave and I kind of treat it just as my face. So it's like an extension. Um, of that so my skincare routine literally just goes up and over and I found that's really helped maybe with like ingrown hairs and that kind of thing which I'm very fortunate uh, to not have any issue with um, so I'm grateful for that uh, so I don't really use a shampoo if I've grown it out to a buzz cut um, what do I use then I'm gonna have to upload a picture of the brand that I use um, so, but generally, in answer to your question, I do not use shampoo. Three, what was the inspiration to shave your head? Well, many of you know the long backstory of why I shaved my head many years ago for a modeling gig. Well, this time around, I knew what it would look like, so I knew it would kind of suit me, and I decided, you know what? I've been modeling for a while now and I just wanted to change it up and Satori and I were like, hey, let's just go all in and see what the bold brigade would be like. So there you go, that was my inspiration. Okay, number four, what nationality are you? This is kind of confusing for some people because people say my accent is very strange now since living in Asia for so long. A lot of expats tend to get like an international, global kind of um, hodgepodge, like all sorts of accents mixed together. Well, I am Australian and it comes out even more so when I'm talking to my family back home in Australia, but I'm Australian and been living here in Singapore for 14 years. So basically like since I was a toddler. Joking, I'm a little bit older than that. Okay, number five, am I planning to convince some girlfriends to shave their heads? Well, people, 
we actually have some people in our sphere that are like getting inspired to do exactly that. So I mean, look, our goal is not to, you know, force people to be like, hey, come and shave your head. But if it's something that they've considered or they wanna try a new look, we 100% are for that. So yes, hopefully in the coming months, you're gonna see more women come on board, she shaves, and we're gonna see um, some super beautiful people in Singapore shaving. Okay, number six. I see you have a strong relationship with Satori and how do you maintain that? Okay, so this is a little bit of a tricky one. Um, Satori and I are, uh, have made like a pact that we're going to keep our personal lives private and which is something that we hold really dear to us. But that being said, we know we're also on a um, public platform. So there's certain things that you guys wanna be involved in. Um, but I can tell you the reason that we have such a strong relationship is the fact that we really honor each other and support each other in everything that we do um, with our families, with our work. Obviously we work together a lot. So there's a great understanding and a compassion on both of our sides uh, for what each other desires to do in it and what we want to achieve. Um, so I think that is the foundation of why it really works. Um, uh, and obviously I respect her enormously as she does. Um, and we are probably each other's biggest cheerleaders. So that is the secret to a strong uh, friendship, relationship. I think it's just like honoring the other person and supporting them and also calling them out when they're falling short in something. You know, we have no, issue over that um she will you know pull me aside and be like you know what i don't think this is going right maybe you can look at it from a different viewpoint or maybe i need to broaden my vision i'm not seeing it from it you know i need to see it from a different perspective so i think i i really respect her for that and thank and thank her for challenging me when often people don't just because it's easier um, but we don't take the easy way out we love to grow and evolve, and um, I'm incredibly, incredibly grateful for her leadership with that. Okay, moving on. What do you prefer for shaving your beautiful, thank you, head, clippers or razor? 100% razor. Um, I, as you know, I way prefer the smooth look. Um, I love the feel of it. I love the fact that it feels incredibly clean. Um, when I feel regrowth, I just have this urge to clean up, you know? Um, it's a bit like wearing makeup. Like, I can't wait to get makeup off my face. It's the same thing with hair. As soon as there's growth, I'm like, oh, oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. This is a lovely, a lovely question. And um, what is the secret of your beauty? Well, thank you so much, whoever wrote that in. Secret of my beauty, you know what? I think the secret is genuinely being happy in yourself. You know, when your soul is happy, you know what you're doing has purpose. And I think that came for me when I stopped looking around elsewhere, you know. Uh, I started to understand that, you know what, hey, God's gifted me with lots of different things and abilities and, and a beauty that, you know, might look different to other people but it's still something um, that I have grown to love over time. I also know the importance of, woo, woo, of taking good care of your body and your skin and your health. And I think once you have aligned all of those, um, you become even more beautiful. So it's sort of from the inside up. How does it feel being shaved in so many barbershops? Yo, 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 I tell you, this has been the most fun part. Something that I never thought would be so entertaining and hilarious and obviously inspiring because we've met amazing people with the most phenomenal stories. Um, and it's inspired us to want to do more. And we're looking forward to other opportunities, even you know beyond the shores of Singapore, how we can experience other cultures, um, I mean, if COVID would just like flip off, 
we would be able to go abroad and meet a lot of you and see your barber shops and how things are done differently around the world. But that is a dream and it is one I am confident uh, will come to pass in time. Okay, what is your current fitness routine and do you visit any gyms, fitness studios? Yeah, I love keeping fit. I think it's really important to move your body um, and to continue to work at that. Even if you're someone that is already, you know, relatively fit, you've got to find ways to make it interesting. And I remember when it was lockdown, I would complain to Satori all the time, if I do one more hit session, I'm like, I'm going to combust. And she had great, like, great advice, which was, you got to change it up. Like, do different things. Take a ballet class, do a yoga session, do Pilates. Um, do some boxing and and I did that and I tried all different things that I've never done before obviously it was all online um, but there's so many ways to move your body and you don't it doesn't have to be torture you know what I mean if you hate going to the gym in a conventional setup don't do it like fine go play tennis or grab your partner and go for a jog at the beach or or go swimming and do laps in your pool whatever it is I just think moving your body is key um, so right now I'm a member at a gym and I train by myself there, um, but in the past I've utilized personal trainers um, just to get me on like the right path and understand my body and how um, the best way for it to be trained. Um, but yeah, so I'm independently at a gym at the moment doing my thing. Uh, how often do I work out? I work out give and take. I move my body every day. Um, I never have a day where I don't do absolutely anything. So I'll just take a walk and just get steps in. I try to hit 10,000 steps a day, uh, regardless of like my workout plan. Um, but training wise, I train normally four times a week. Um, if we have something particular that we're working towards or like a goal, a physical goal, then I can up that to five times. But obviously there's commitments and whatnot that keep me busy. Um, what do you and Satori do for work? Well, we are full-time models, um, as you, I think, know. Uh, Satori also has her own modeling company, agency that she runs, and she's got some staff there, like, helming that for her. She's also working on passion projects that she's actually launched another one, um, which is really exciting, which we'll be able to release that news shortly uh, that has just gone live. So she really does put her head down and, um, and really works hard at the things that she wants to get off the ground. And you know, she's got an entrepreneurial spirit and something that she really uh, strives to achieve many different things in many different industries. It's really amazing to see her flourish. Um, and I'm a singer and a voiceover artist, so often working in studios, working on commercials, that kind of thing. Does it ever get old that some people only see you or follow you as the bald girl? 100% no. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, because I know obviously that I have many other giftings and things that I'm able to um, work toward and offer the world. And so if you just see me as the bold girl, well, hey, you know what? All good. That means there's room to grow in our friendship. Um, those that know me and people that are around me and support me know um, that there's far more than that. And obviously, um, I'm more multifaceted than just the bold girl. Um, okay, you could be living anywhere on this planet. Why Asia? Why not? Oh my gosh, this place is amazing. Seriously, Singapore is the most bomb country. There is so much happening. It's all, it's like, um, entertainment wise, it's always bustling. Uh, the people are amazing. It's got all cultures and also like my family's here. So it's very much like roots down. Um, I love it and I can't um, express enough my gratitude to Singapore for like bringing me in with open arms, accepting me and really just like being my home for my whole adulthood. Okay, where are we up to? Do you think you will ever grow your hair again? Another very common question and the answer to that is I am not sure. I am 
I'm sure a time in my life will come when I will want to grow it out again. But for right now, and for you know, um, the purpose of of this project, a hundred percent no. I love the look. I love the style. I love the confidence it gives me, and I wouldn't change it for anything. Now, this is a great question, guys. Are you happy? I I was shocked to see it when. The list was being uh, written up, but thank you, whoever asked that. I think it's really important to check in on people and 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 to ask that. Are you happy? And the answer to that is, I am incredibly content and happy with where I am, with the decisions that I've made over the past two years, the things that I'm working towards. You know, like things that I've had to walk away from, things that I've had to pick up, new skills. Um, yeah, I'm really happy. So thank you for asking that. And I hope you are too. Many are eagerly awaiting to see Satori in your iconic hairstyle. Yes, coming back to the very first question. I know. Do you have any plans to come to India and have a head shave? Yes, we can't wait. And having, you know, researched a lot about like where head shaves have become more common in women or if it's for religious reasons or um, all sorts of things. India has a huge proportion of women that shave their heads at different points in their life for different reasons. And obviously there's these people on the street where they line up and they go and get their head shaved and I can't wait to go there and hear the stories. Um, we're looking forward to that. So uh, borders, would you please open COVID? Please, you're ruining it for everyone. Uh, do you worry about people's opinion of you? No. I do not. It's taken me a lot of hard work to get to the place to be able to say, I do not care or I'm not concerned with other people's opinion of me. Um, I feel 100% at peace with where I am in my body, who I am, what I have to offer. And I think once you get there, you know, that is an incredible feeling to feel grounded and at peace. And that's where I am in my life. How do you become so body confident? Mm, great question. I haven't always been, guys. Um, it has been a learning journey um, and process for me. And I think I have evolved. And like any journey, there has moments of ups and downs. Moments when I look at my body and I think, you know what, I don't like what I'm seeing changes here. Or as I'm getting older, um, my body doesn't look the same as it did when I was 18, you know. But I have started to grasp. Um, the ability of my body and what it has been capable of and what it has shown me and I have deep respect for it. Um, so body confidence has come from, from an understanding of the respect I now have for what it is able to do, not what it is not, you know? So I try to see it from the other perspective. Um, and of course, like women, you're going to go through many different things in your lives. Um, if if you could be pregnant or you've delivered children and then you really see what your body is able to bring life into the world. And I think once that's once you have walked through that journey through that or there is an unbelievable respect for your body and you can't be anything but grateful. Uh, for you know your body as a vessel to bring life so body confidence has taken time and obviously now like with having a, a bald head it's like a totally different side of just being grateful for my health my body I can do what I want with it and and having the ability to make choices over my body um, that makes me confident you know Okay, I've got one last question. What is the best part of being in the Bold Brigade? I can tell you right now, the best part is seeing and meeting other people that have joined the crusade, if you will, and seeing how it's changed their lives for so many different reasons. To see them come out of their shell, to see them have like testimonies of like, if they're going through a medical concern or an issue, and they've lost their hair for what, whatever reason it may be, but seeing themselves, see themselves as whole and perfect without their hair. 
and being a source of inspiration for a few people in this world is without a doubt the most gratifying and it just makes everything worthwhile. Well guys, here we are. It is finished. It is a very, very smooth shave. I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of a baby oil here. And I just want to thank you for tuning in and I'm looking forward to getting to more questions in following episodes. But for now, oh, this smells so good. Ah, oh, so nice. Coconut chia butter. Mm, 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 mm. All right, guys, we are finished. Stay safe, stay smooth. Until next time.